subtract the rational expressions, and these two rational expressions have different denominators, which are both trinomials, and the first thing we're going to need to do is force them to have the same denominator. Once they have a common denominator, we can go ahead and subtract our numerators and put everything over the common denominator. So to build the LCD, the first thing we need to do is factor the denominators that we have and figure out what the pieces of the LCD are. Now, if you're kind of rusty on factoring trinomials, you're going to want to watch the videos on factoring trinomials. Um, otherwise, this type of problem is going to be a real mess. So this thing factors out to be 3q minus 7 times q plus 4. And the second one factors out to be 2q minus 5 times q plus 4. All right, now that we have it factored, we can figure out the pieces for the LCD. So what I usually do is take the entire first denominator, take both factors, 3q minus 7 and q plus 4, and then I look at the next denominator, and I take any piece or factor that's missing. So right now, it looks like I've already got the q plus 4, so I don't need to take it again. I do not have the 2q minus 5 yet, so that gets factored in here. 2q minus 5, and that would be our, our entire LCD. And remember, when you're building the LCD, you want it to contain each denominator completely. So, for example, 3q minus 7 and q plus 4, that's the first denominator. 2q minus 5 and q plus 4, that would be these two factors, that's the second denominator. So as long as your LCD contains each denominator and it doesn't have extra factors that are not necessary, then you're going to have the least common denominator. Right, so now what we need to do is force these fractions to have that denominator. So I'm going to rewrite it so it's not too hard to look at. So we've got 3q plus 4, and I'll write the denominator in factored form for the first one. And the second one, 5q plus 3, over the factored denominator of 2q, take away 5q plus 4. Now what we're going to do is multiply any missing factor to make the LCD. 3q minus 7q plus 4 is missing 2q minus 5. So that means 2q minus 5 gets multiplied top and bottom. And it's really important here that it's multiplying the entire numerator. It's not just multiplying the 4. So you got to put parentheses around it, and that's going to remind you to distribute when you're simplifying the numerator later. This one, we've got 2q minus 5 and q plus 4, so we have the two last factors already. We need 3q minus 7. So we'll multiply it in the bottom, and that's fine to do as long as you multiply it to the top to balance it out. And again, parentheses, because you want to make sure you multiply the entire numerator. And now we just have a lot of algebraic crunching to do. We've got to simplify the numerators, and at the very end we're going to try to factor if possible to see if we can cancel. Alright, so let's just simplify the numerator without rewriting the denominator every time. And then at the end, once we get our final numerator, we'll bring the LCD back into it. So here's our numerator. 3q plus 4, 2q minus 5, take away 5q plus 3, 3q take away 7. And we start by distributing. So we FOIL it out and we get 6q squared minus 15q plus 8q minus 20. Take away, and I'm going to put take away parentheses and FOIL this thing out. And at the after I'm done with FOILing it out, then I'm going to distribute in my minus sign. That way I don't have any sign errors happening. 15q squared minus 35q plus 9q and take away 21. So that gives me, let's see, let's sim simplify a little bit within here, combine our like terms that we've got. 6q squared minus 7q minus 20. Take away parentheses 15q squared minus 26q minus 
21. And now let's go ahead and distribute that minus sign. 6q squared, take away 7q, take away 20, minus 15q squared, minus minus is plus 26q, minus minus plus 21. And now we want to keep going with combining like terms. So let's see, we've got a 6q squared and a take away 15q squared. So we have minus 9q squared, minus 7q plus 26q, and that's going to give us a plus 19q, and minus 20 plus 21 gives us a plus 1. And now we're going to bring the LCD back into it because that's our simplified numerator. So the LCD is 3q take away 7, q plus 4, 2q minus 5. And at this point, you would want to see if this guy here can be factored. And if it can be, then you factor it and see if you can cancel any pieces, any common factors. But this one cannot be factored because I can't find any factors of minus 9 times 1 or minus 9 that sum to the middle term of plus 19. Because right, our factors of minus 9 are 3 times 3, opposite signs to give a minus, or 9 times 1, and there would be opposite signs once again to give a minus, and none of those add up to 19. That means we're done. There is no way to factor it, and that's our final answer.